I was I was waiting to say that for a while. I'm not gonna lie. Have you watched Tiger King? A um, little bit, a mm, little bit of it. See, you were like this last week, and you still haven't watched it. I've yeah, watched no. it all now. Haven't gone around to it. I, I've watched it. It's it's fucked. I'm, yeah, it's fucked. <laughs> I'm not putting it any <laughs> other way. But Carol Baskin. Oh, is a bitch. I've watched enough to hate her. Mm. Mm, Screw no, her. You heard, have you been hearing about her complaining that this series has ruined her? Well, don't murder your husband. And then, you know, <laughs> so that will be my take on that. But I won't spoil anything because I'm not I'm a stupid idiot. Um, but, you know, all you cool cats and kittens out there, I hope you're having a wonderful week. Uh, we're in day 470 of uh, self-isolation, it seems, uh, because the month of April has been going for about four and a half years. Um, but you know, we're hanging in tight and we're doing what we do. Um, me and Ryan don't really have too much of an idea for this episode because we just have been, I've, I've been in a creative slump when it comes to podcasts lately and I just don't have any ideas this week. However, I, this is always something I can lean on. We will get to our topic in a minute, but we'll just catch up for a minute. Um, something I wanted to, that I was going to talk about on reverb tomorrow, but I just feel like it's necessary now while it's fresh in my brain. Um, I know you haven't, Ryan, but I've been watching Dark Side of the Ring. And it's fucked. Uh, Some of those stories, because I didn't watch them. There's been two... Well, they're in season two now, but there's been a whole season. And I haven't watched anything until I watched the Chris Benoit episode. And um, I watched the Chris Benoit episode, and obviously that was fucked. Um, And then I watched the Jimmy Snooker episode, and that was just as fucked. And then I watched the Fabulous Muller episode, and that was also fucked. Um, some of these stories are just so like crazy. And, um, I, I, if I can recommend anything for you to watch, um, Shaylee will watch them as well. Cause she was into them as well. Um, dark side of the ring. It's, it, you can find it anywhere on the internet. Um, vice make it, obviously, you know what vice is. Um, yeah, they make some, they, they seem to produce stuff that's like truthful instead of it just being an attack piece, which it easily could be. Um, but yeah, basically, yeah, the, the fabulous Muller one was the watch, one I watched the most recent out of the three and hers was intense in a time of just women not being presented, being presented in a different way in wrestling and just the way that she kind of like, you know, she was accused of being a pimp and, um, oh yeah, I do remember that. Yeah. Like everyone yeah. remembers when they tried to do the WrestleMania Women's Battle Royal, you know, the fabulous Moolah Memorial Battle Royal, and that didn't go great. Um, <laughs> they took that a name away in a couple of days because people were like, this woman is kind of garbage, and she was a pimp and stuff like that. But I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to spoil it for anyone that hasn't watched it. Anyone, go out and watch that episode, the Chris Benoit episode, obvious, for obvious reasons, and the Jimmy Snooker episode because um, there's a lot going into that as well. But um, that would be something I'd suggest to you i've just been watching it and i was like i forgot to tell you that and i was like let's talk about it here but yeah it's um because it's not wwe produced it's better because they're not trying to sell an agenda (laughs) yeah they don't cover up anything they nope it's all truth Mm -mm. all out there well alleged like they just tell you facts instead of being like this is the way it happened like they were just like this is what happened you kind of consider it you kind of take into you can take them all in consideration and make an opinion for yourself. So, um, that's what I kind of like about the dark side of the ring. But you can yeah. find them all there. Yeah. I think they're available on YouTube or whatever. You'll find them somewhere, and they're they're really good. The Benoit one, especially, is, for obvious reasons. <laughs> obvious reasons is is very yeah. interesting. It's gut wrenching, but it's very interesting. Um, so yeah, go and watch Dark Side of the Ring. Ep- everybody um just to, we don't know this probably could be a little bit of a shorter episode but it doesn't matter because this episode is going to be important um <laughs> i honestly my brain's just gone here so we're going to go here um we'll talk about the thing we we originally going to talk about first um and then I'll, I'll throw something else on you that i haven't even told ryan and it's just kind of come to my brain but Ooh, it, this is this is just a it's an age old age old debate that i will just never change my mind on it's the it's the argument of should pineapple go on a pizza and there's always it's always going to be 50 50 people are going to be for it people are going to it's either heavily for it or heavily against it and right now it is yeah because i am 
I've made it abundantly clear, I'm pretty sure, that pineapple does not belong on a pizza. Um, Ryan, and it's my your... favorite pizza. It's Hawaiian pizza. Love pineapple it. on a pizza is disgusting. It's gross. Uh, like, I just can't think... Like, I will instantly spew. If that goes in my mouth, I will chunga. I don't even like taking it off of the pizza. It's gross. It's so foul and disgusting. But here's... here's here, let's throw this on you now. Because... It's, it's all over the internet. People are like, disgusting, gross, amazing, fantastic, best pizza ever. Have you noticed something that, especially maybe in the last 10 years, is that as a society, we are actually like told what, to, what our opinion is instead of like our opinion actually being our opinion? It's yeah. like you fall into different categories now. And it's like... Pineapple on a pizza, you're either yes or no, and then you heavily debate it, and it's like, you're for this, and, like, I am that person, don't get me wrong, because that's how society is, but, like, have you noticed that, like, the internet now tells us, this is what you can pick from, pick your opinion, and defend it hard? Yeah, like, it, I don't remember, like, I don't remember a time or when it actually started this whole debate online about the, um, about, you know, pineapple being on pizza or not, because, obviously, um, Ham and pineapple was it was invented way before me, uh, nineteen sixty two. How do you it know was, this? Huh? How do you know this? How do you know these I've, facts? I've done my research. It was invented in nineteen sixty two, so it's been around for a very long time. Um, it's one of the classics. You've got Hawaiian, well, well, the classics in my opinion have always been Hawaiian, uh, meat lovers, and Supreme. And ham and cheese, of course. And then from there, it's like simulated a bunch of other pizzas with other mixtures. But for some reason, ham and pineapple has always been the one that like that gains friction between people about pineapple should be on it or shouldn't be on it. And I don't get it. Like if you don't want it, fine, don't have it. I'm not gonna hate you, but I like it. I mean, I'm gonna hate you if you have pineapple on a pizza, but <laughs> I, 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 like, it's just, it's just weird. I wasn't expecting to go here, but my brain is just here now. So this is what we're gonna talk about this week: is that society just the inter? I think it's the internet age, the social media age that now develops opinions, two different opinions, and then you decide. It's like that, you know, when that dress came out, is it blue and gold or white and gold? Or was what was it? Blue and gold and yeah. white and gold or something like that? What, like, yeah, some of that. What yeah. Do you see? And, like, yes, I understand it's a brain thing, but it's, like, you're defending it hard. Like, I see this. No, I see this. I see this. I see this. It's, like, at the end of the day, does it really matter? It, it doesn't. Um, no. But it's just, like, that's how we operate now, is that we see something, and we're, like, yes, I agree with that, and I hate everybody else that doesn't. Like, have you noticed that? <laughs> yeah. It's, like, it... I I don't even know how to... Like, the pineapple and a pizza one is probably the, it's just, like, the classic example of it. But there's so many others. But it's just how the internet is wired now. And it's, like, I, when, when did we stop forming our own, like, we're still having our own opinions. Because we're, a, you know, bit, which one are we for? But, like, when did we, when did we stop actually, like, having original thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's all, um, it it just seems to be that somebody will say something, another person will say another thing, and then people then jump on it, either side. It's no longer like, all right, them two are arguing, let's let them have it. It's no that people start to gain an army, and then it's just an all-out war about the most stupidest thing. Mm-hmm. I agree, and it's like anything though, like trends on the internet and people are like i have to do this it's the whole reason why people were on vine it's the whole reason why people are on tiktok it's the whole reason yeah. why people are, are doing instagram stories or you know like when on those instagram stories we'd be like which thing are you and it would have like the little thing above your head and it would you know play a cycle of different things and it would show what you are and then everybody would start doing that everyone has to be on that cycle that trend everyone has to be on that that team not on that team like it's just it's very much like we live in these times where, because everything is so instant, everything is like 
instantly at your fingertips because we have social media, we have our phone is essentially our lives, really. Like, I, it would be pretty hard for me to live without a phone. I know it would be hard for you to live without a phone. A little um, bit, yeah. And it's like we live in this age now where it's just everything is just going at a, such a fast pace. As, as soon as something start, it starts, it seems to be over. Like, as soon as a trend starts, it's done. You know what I mean? Like, it's... Yeah, like, um, the same with, like, memes. You see, at the end of the year, it literally has this, like, calendar of each month of what the biggest meme was. And it, it they end within a month. Next month is a new meme. And it's the same thing with, like, trends and everything. It's just, it happens in the month. And when that month is over, they look for something new. Mm-hmm. A cancel culture on the internet is so toxic as well. Um, I don't know where this conversation is going, but I'm here for it. But um, <laughs> cancel culture is, you know what I mean by cancel culture, obviously. But um, it's as soon as someone is made, they're they're taken down as, as, like instantly. You do one little thing wrong, yeah. and it's like that's the end of that. They. They said, like, something slightly offensive or they did something and it's like, people are humans and people say things and I'm not saying, like, I'm, I'm not talking about, like, big thing. I'm, I'm talking about, like, small minor things and the cancel culture will rip them up. Um, people, like, being, even celebrities and stuff like this, like, music stars, this one minute they're hot and they're hip and they're making all this great music and the next minute we've forgotten who they are. I think the I, I, an example that comes to my mind is Lord. Lord was yeah. like the biggest star in the world. She was getting all this recognition. She was amazing. She was different. She's everything. And it's like, what is I? Lord's Where done nothing. Now? Like Lord's doing nothing. We wouldn't know because people get bored. It's this short attention span society. I'm yeah. I'm guilty because I'm wired that way now um, with social media and that is I get bored with shit so easy. You do too. You have a pretty short attention span, don't you? Um, mine more stimulates on uh, video games. I used to be able to sit there and smash out one game easily, just sit there for hours. But now I play a game for a little bit, and then I'm jumping between different games, or Ooh, I I'll, I keep on I keep on buying new games because they're just coming out, and then I forget about the ones that I've had. Um, sort of the same situation. But yeah, I get what you mean about um, yeah, everybody just has, and it's not just me either. It's like people around me that I've also like spoken to about the same thing and they're all the same way. Like they just jump on something new every like couple of weeks or month or so. Yeah. It's weird. It's um, yeah. Like wrestling's a great example of it is just because one minute someone's hot and someone's great. And then the next minute, nobody cares about them. Um, yeah. And it's because we live in that short attention span society. It happens in every entertainment industry. It happens with, it happens with everything now. You can't even... It doesn't even seem like food is is safe from this because one minute you're in love with this food and then you're like, I'm sick of it. I've had enough yeah. of it. That whipped coffee thing that was going around on... I think it started, honestly, on TikTok. But that whipped coffee thing that was going around, nobody cares about it. Everyone's like, I've had enough of it. Go I'm on. over it. It was like a weak thing and like everyone's, everyone's done with it now. And it's so odd. Like I just noticed like different little things that I have in my home. And I'm like, this was cool six years ago, five years ago. And now it's like so irrelevant because people just get bored. And then because society tells you that it's not relevant anymore, you don't use these things or you don't do these things. You don't listen to that music. You don't eat that food. You don't watch that television show because nobody cares about it anymore. Um, yeah. Of course, there's exceptions to the rule and things, you know, stay. But for the most part, we just live in this such a short attention span, society driven world that everyone kind of you know it's so weird if someone isn't on social media like how weird is that it's like well what the hell you're not on social media how yeah like how do you live your life how do you know what's going on yeah like that's just how the first thing you do in the morning is you grab your phone and you check whatever form of social media is that is is relevant to you but that's one of the first things everyone does every morning because it's just like the first thing you do is roll over and get on your phone, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. You don't like, want to get out of bed straight away. You need a couple of minutes to really wake oh, up, but yeah, you also hours. don't want to lay there a couple of hours, yeah. I lay in bed for so long in the morning. I like wake up and I'm like, I should get up. The only re way that I'll get up is if my stomach <laughs> tells me to. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way I'm getting up. Um, 
but like even like middle of the night, sometimes I'll wake up and I'll be like, oh, I got to check Twitter, I got to check Facebook, I've got to yeah. check Instagram, just because. And like, now I'm gonna sit here for twelve hours watching TikTok. Yeah, like and then you're like, oh, I've been awake, and then I've been awake for twenty minutes, and now it's like I'm awake, and I don't know. It's just we rely so much on. I think it comes to a thing of like another thing that's just popped in my head is that everyone's different on this, but why do we require so much validation from people we don't know? <laughs> and, like <laughs> we don't know these people, but like you watch views go up on a YouTube video or you watch um, likes go up on a Facebook status or um, hearts yeah. on a tweet. And you're like, Oh, that feels good. I don't know who these people are. Well, you know who some of them are, but I don't know a lot of these people, but I want them to agree with me. I want them to notice me. It's like, yeah, are we all, like, do we all just seek attention in some weird way? Yeah, it's it's like, uh, yeah, it, exactly what you said. Like, you don't know the person. You never met them. You didn't know they existed until that one comment, but you want to be accepted by them and to be liked by them mm. for no apparent reason. Yeah. It doesn't affect your life in any way or it might but yeah, yeah, I get, I get where you're coming from with that. Yeah, like we just seek validation from random strangers. Um, it's what essentially YouTube is built on. It's what essentially um, Vine, TikTok, Instagram, um, not so much Facebook, just because Facebook's a little bit more. I find Facebook. I hate Facebook, by the way. I, if I got rid of Facebook tomorrow, it wouldn't bother me. Um, I hate social media. I just Facebook's just. It's the place where you actually have like your in real life friends on and you don't want to talk to any of them. <laughs> <laughs> you have this huge, like, like I've gone through my friends list plenty of times and I'm like, I don't talk to you anymore. Why do I have you here? So I'm just getting, I remove like a whole heap of them. But then even the people that I've, haven't removed, I'm like, but then I still don't talk to you either. Like, why do I have you? Facebook to me is just a place where people get on and have a whinge, have a bitch, have a moan. That's yeah. Facebook to me. And I just, I don't know, if it wasn't for a few things that are keeping me on Facebook, like certain groups and my page for this stuff and that, I don't think I'd be on Facebook because it just doesn't, I don't know, it's just boring. And I, it's the last thing I check now just because I've got, I prefer Twitter and Instagram and stuff like that, Snapchat. Yeah. If someone really needs to talk to me, you're going to snap me. Like that's how I... That's the, it's like Facebook is all the people that I know and Snapchat is the people I actually want to talk to. That's yeah. how I see Snapchat. And remember when Snapchat wasn't like a big deal though, and no one really had it. Or if you did have it, you didn't really know what you were doing. Cause you were like, yeah. it's just photos. I don't get it. That was it. me. That was me. And then I realized, hang on, it's like another huge way to communicate with people. And you like, you don't even know it. And it's, it's a lot easier as well. Yeah, um, I, I think just, it is. Yeah, well, I think it is too. And you can check where people are on Snap Map. And I love <laughs> stalking people, which Straight people stalker. don't even realize social media is like a weird way of stalking people because you can just go on their page and see what they've been doing for the day. Sometimes there's location tweets, like it's, or, or Facebook statuses or whatever. Um, you can see essentially what people are doing with their lives or what version. That's another thing is what version of people, like what version of yourself you want to present to people. Yeah. So you're trying to present the best, the best version of yourself to people. Like on my Facebook, I'm not, I'm not presenting really anything different from what I am in real life. I'm not trying very hard on Facebook, but my Twitter and my TikTok, like I'm, I'm, I'm myself and you can attest to that because you know me in real life. I am myself, but I'm also like, there is a certain version of myself I'm putting on. It's a part of me, but it's not like, it's not hugely it's not, different. That's not how I am running around in real life. I'm not, you know, constantly on constantly being funny. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm trying to be funny when I'm on not so well, Twitter. Twitter is probably the most accurate representation of me because I do just talk. And just stuff comes out. I don't really think about what I'm saying. Um, so that's how I tweet. But like, I'm not like people are like, oh, you're so funny on TikTok. And then they meet me in real life and I have that resting face. That's yeah. not very nice. Um, <laughs> I just have that fat. It's not me in a grumpy mood. It's just more so that's just how my face rests. And I look like I want to stab you. <laughs> I think it's just my fam. All my family have that. Um, but 
like, you, you know what I mean though? Like presenting that version of yourself that you want others to know you for. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's not that, um, is that sick? Is that like a weird thing to do? I don't, I think everyone does it honestly. Yeah. Yeah. In some ways, some worse than others. Uh, like heavy people, there's people that are extremely fake. Oh yeah, I'm not saying I'm not fake at all. It, it is definitely no, you're a not. version of me. It's just yeah, it's like ninety percent of me. I'm not giving you everything, and I'm not constantly on like that all the time. But no, it's a version of me, definitely. Well, as you as you've said to me with um with your TikTok, like they they're just like the videos that you upload just randomly pop up in your head, and like doesn't matter what you're doing, you could be laying in bed, but you have oh, to yeah. make them. I get that, like, I'll just be, like, doing nothing and then a TikTok comes to my brain. I'm like, I have to make this yeah. right now. Like, so I it's not like, yeah, you're not you're not just sitting there thinking, like, oh, I need to make one. And no. I need to be funny. I need to have, like, put it, it out there. You, yeah. It just pops up in your head. You're like, it's stupid. I'm going to do it. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's how I – and I'm, I'm more myself on an app like that. Yeah. And Twitter, I'm very much myself on an app like that because I feel a bit more comfortable being like, okay – I think it's big also because like I've gained a little bit of a following and I'm like, okay, this is the version of people people want from me. So I feel yeah. like I'm trying to attain to that, but also like I'm doing it for myself. Like TikToks and I'm not like, I'm just kind of doing cause I, I'm, it makes me laugh. So therefore <laughs> I'm doing it. Um, but Facebook, enough. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that on Facebook. People would unfriend me. <laughs> because, because people on Facebook's like the sour people that like are sitting over in the corner of the school and they're like, "Ugh, we're too good for you." That's how I feel like Facebook is. And Remember when people. people used to be Facebook famous? <laughs> Facebook was like the the first bit of social media. I, well, I actually I think I did have a MySpace. I was on the very end of MySpace because it was just going out of like style by the time I was getting into social media. Um, but I'm pretty sure I had MySpace. I'm pretty sure. I never uh, got around to that. Yeah. Going to MySpace. I was on the very end of it, like very end before it like was a crash. Thing. Yeah, it wasn't a thing. Um, but Facebook was the first one I had, and that was really the only one I had for ages. And then yeah, I think Twitter and then Instagram, Snapchat, all that kind of stuff. I like Insta. Insta's, but Insta is like. Insta is like the most, in the in a weird good way, it's like the fakest because people are like putting up certain photos. You're not going to upload yeah. a bad photo, you know, oh, I'm just here. No. Like if, Insta- if I'm putting stuff on my Instagram, like my personal Instagram, I'm going to make sure it's an important photo. I feel like it's less like your thoughts and it's more like, I'm going to post every so often and here you go. Like here's a nice photo of me that's heavily filtered and heavily edited and and I try, and I, and it took me like fifty two tries to get. Yeah, like you're not like being just reactive to things. I feel like Twitter, what well, at least for me is like I'm just reacting and I'm just kind of going off my gut, um, and just tweeting random shit. Like that's how I see Twitter or putting up videos yeah. or going live. And Twitter's a good outlet for me. And TikTok is like, in all seriousness. It, like, exercises the part of my brain that I don't use anymore, which is trying to be a little bit creative because I miss that so dearly, so much. I miss being creative at school and you don't use that. I don't – when do we in our daily lives get a chance to be super creative? Like, our jobs don't really allow creativity. We're just kind of doing a a formula. Or it could, but nobody lets us. (laughs) That's true. Um (laughs) Uh, that's that's a conversation for a different day. Um, we love you, Woolworths. We love you. If you're listening to yes. this, Mr. Woolworths, we love Mr. you. Mr. Woolworths, I didn't mean it. Um, but yeah, it's it's weird. I, I, I don't know. This is not where I thought the conversation was going to go, but I'm not mad at this conversation at all um, because, I don't know, the online world, I love social media. I'm not one of those people that like, Fuck social, except Facebook. Facebook can fuck off, but that's more of a me thing than a Facebook thing. Yeah, but, that's a personal um, hate. But like, I, I'm not one of those people that's like, I hate social media. It's so bad, but it can be toxic. It can, it's a super oh. toxic place if it, you let you, if you let let it consume you. Um, but I, I know for me, and you can comment on this as well. I'm sure, but I, I don't let it 
I use it in a very positive way and I use it like for an outlet of different things. I'm not really on there to find negativity and I'm not, it comes, it comes with the territory, but I don't let it eat at me. I'm pretty thick skinned with a lot of things. Um, not that I'm ever getting, oh, I have been attacked on Twitter before it just happens, but, um, especially when you're watching wrestling, because you're not allowed to have an opinion on that. that yeah, there's always haters. Um, but I, I don't know. I just don't, I'm, I'm good at kind of dictating what I kind of let in my brain and what I don't with social media. So I feel like I have a pretty healthy relationship with it. I'm just addicted to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, as I just said, I, I use it for pretty much all positive things. Like I only use Facebook for all things news. I use it for like gaming news or just what's going on in in the world. Um, Twitter, I'm still trying to get the hang of a little bit. And Instagram, I don't use at all. Yeah, well, not much of. I'm still getting a hang of that one too. <laughs> uh, I think I think my problem is, is I don't. I don't try with it. I'm just like, what do I do? What do I do in here? Do I just look around? I, I kind of treat everything like it's Facebook because that's the one I use for the longest, but yeah. they've all got their different ways of being used. And I think that's what I've got to more learn. Um, just learn teaching on. yourself, really. Yeah, yeah. Repetition. I'm saying like social media is like this big puzzle, but it is all different. They all are all different. Is. different there's different aspects to them all. Um, but I don't know. Overall, I like social media. I, I definitely don't hate social media. I think it's a good thing, but it just can be used in very evil ways when people want it. Because we've seen oh, yeah. that. Oh, my God. The amount of people that have just been bullied. Because people can hide behind a screen and just bully people, which isn't... Don't fucking do that, honestly. Yeah. Just don't, don't be a bitch. Just don't do not do that. It's just... it's Like, I don't know. You wouldn't do that to a person in real life. And if you did, you're a piece of shit. You know what I mean? So, like, people grow a set when they're on behind a keyboard, really. Um, yeah. But I don't know. I, for the most part, I agree with the fact that when people say you're seeking validation, you're doing this, you must have some kind of deep, dark, emotional fucking journey to get there. And it's like, well, probably, I probably am seeking validation from these people because, I don't know, maybe something in my childhood wasn't great and... I'm like, well, this is a way for me to feel happy, so let me. Just let me fucking do that. And I'm going to continue doing that. You know, everyone's had their own... Everyone's story's different. I, I don't know. But I, I, I admit that I seek validation from people, especially from people I don't know. I don't know why. I think it's because they can't... You know, if you seek validation from a friend, they can either judge you biasly or they they have a they have a preconceived opinion of you. A stranger does not, so they're just judging what they see. Yeah, yeah, they just go by what they, yeah, what they see. And I don't know. It's a it's a weird world. It's one hundred percent a weird world. Mm-hmm. Like I would never think, oh, a random stranger saying something about me would affect me. But sometimes it does. Oh, Mostly really. it doesn't. But it's just like, well, why? <laughs> Why do you not like me? <laughs> what have I done to you? Oh, absolutely. I've had many times on the internet um, where I'm like, I don't know you, but please like me. Why don't you <laughs> yeah. like me? Why Why are you sitting here not liking me? I don't and understand then you, it. And then you start to get angry at them, like, fuck yeah. you. Yeah. I don't want absolutely. you to like me now. I hate you. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely you do that. And it's it's weird. It's weird the way our society is wired. But that's where we are. And I don't know, I, I I would change a few things definitely, but for the most part, everyone knows this, but I love being on social media and I've made friends f- throughout the world because of social media. It wouldn't be possible without yeah. social media and stuff like that. And I'm sure you've had people, not in just social media, but just like the fact that you can jump on PlayStation and play a game with someone in any country and you could potentially be their friend is like pretty insane. Yeah. It's just being online, like by it, whether it's social media or as you said, being on a game like console, it's definitely, it's pretty much the biggest thing in our world right now. Mm-hmm. It, it, well, it runs right our world. Now, right now, 
being on being on the internet is as important as ever. Y- yeah. Right now, with all the fucking corona crap going on, it's like we we're all on the internet now because we've got nothing else to do. Yeah, we can't go outside. We're not allowed to. I don't know. I hope everyone is doing well in all of this too. Um, Australia is doing pretty fucking well. South Australia, to be exact. Mm, we're doing represent. really well. Um, with two yeah, consecutive days fuck of yeah, zero Adelaide. cases. We might be the meth capital of the world, but we also got the least amount of coronavirus cases. <laughs> we'll, so suck we can't on that. leave our home. All the meth is killing the coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, fucking Adelaide. What a hole. No, it's not a hole. I, 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 I don't hate Adelaide, but it's boring. I do. Oh, do you hate Adelaide? I... I've lived in all places in Adelaide. I don't... I'm done with it. Uh, I don't know. Adelaide's... It, there's not much to do. Anyone no. internationally that's listening to this and is like, oh, I'd love to go to Australia one day. Um, go to Melbourne. Go to Sydney. I wouldn't come here. <laughs> Unless you specifically <laughs> want to see me um, and you know me, then fine. But I'd probably fly to Melbourne, to be honest. <laughs> Mel- Melbourne, fantastic. I love Melbourne. I've never Scom- been to Sydney, but... ScoMo's listening to this. He's like, these fucking dickheads. Fucking ruining the travel. Why would ScoMo be listening? He's off in Hawaii, probably. Um, oh, yeah. Like living his dreams. No, he's not at the moment. He's actually genuinely our Prime Minister, Scott Morrison. If you're listening to this, which I know you are... Um, you've done <laughs> yeah. a, you've actually done, honestly, from my opinion, you've done a pretty all right job with this coronavirus stuff. The fires, we won't get into cause you didn't do a great job there, but the coronavirus stuff, I think for the most part, you've handled it pretty well because other countries, not naming any in particular, um, haven't done so great. Yeah. But not only Scott Morrison, but all Australians have played their part. Yeah. And you know, to all the people that are out in the world, you know, following social distancing rules and self isolation rules and all that, pat on the back because good on you. Yeah, and give a little applause. It's uh, important that we keep doing this because I don't know. There's a little part of me that's like, is it coming to an end? Is it not? Have we peaked? Is there a second wave? I really don't know. It's the many, it's the many wonders, but it's um. We said this last week, I'm pretty sure, Ryan, but it's becoming the new normal. Yeah. It's weird. It's, life is, for, weirdly enough, it's starting to feel normal, even though it still isn't, but it's just because we've been living in this for so long. Mm-hmm. It's starting to become normal, and then when it's all over, it's going to be weird again. Yeah. I I um I don't know. I don't know when it's going to come normal again, but... Or what is going to be normal? Who really fucking knows, honestly. Um, but hey, that'll kind of do us for this week. I hope it was an okay episode. We didn't really plan this. This is kind of where the conversation went. No, we were so. supposed to argue about pineapples on pizzas. We did for a minute. Yeah, for a hot Blanket minute. Blanket statement. In closing, pineapple doesn't belong on a motherfucking pizza. You know what? We'll let everybody decide on that. Let's start the war all over again. I'll put a poll out on underneath this tweet that I put um, up for this episode. Um, and I'll put one on my Facebook. And I think you can do polls on Instagram, can you? I think. Not too sure. I think you, yeah. uh, you don't know how to use Instagram. Why am I asking you? You can do it on the yeah. stories. You can do it on an Instagram <laughs> story. So I'll put a poll up um, to go along with this episode. And does pineapple belong on a pizza? Yes. I mean, you can pick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, side with me. Um, let's be honest. Um, I'll have Ryan and his 21 followers come at me. <laughs> Actually, it's 20 now. Somebody left me. <laughs> oh, shit. Ryan's got one less. Oh, no. And all the followers that follow you probably follow me. Yeah, they're pity follows. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Hey, anything to get started on Twitter. Exactly. Um, it'll it'll do. Um, oh, wait, no, I'm up, I'm up to 22. Oh, you I've got 22. Checked it. Yikes. I told you. Ooh, they're coming at me. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll ultimately decide whether the pineapple does go on a pizza, and it does not. So, um, it so does. I mean, they can pick. Let them decide. Yeah, but, I mean, we're on my network, so, I mean, just saying. But, hey, don't let me in- influence your decision. You pick from your heart and from your taste buds, which means pineapple. 
That's not <laughs> going to pizza. Disgusting. Oh. Anyway, until next Thursday, make sure you continue to rate this podcast five stars on iTunes. Make sure you leave a like and all of that good stuff on uh, my YouTube. And I hope you are enjoying everything this week on the network as well as Wrestling Reverb tomorrow. My pride and joy, my baby, Wrestling Reverb. Um, I hope everyone is in good spirits and, um, I don't know, follow me on TikTok. Ryan has a TikTok, but he doesn't fucking post anything. Not yet. I need a better phone. Yeah, uh, by the way, guys, Ryan has an Android. Oh, on next week's episode, we're going to argue Android or Apple. Yeah, I, I mean, we could take a photo on your phone, but nobody would be able to see through all the pixels. <laughs> They'd be like, what's this What's this promoting? And then I'll take it on my beautiful Apple iPhone and everyone will be like, I see it. Um, imagine <laughs> making TikToks on an Android. Ugh. Ugh. Imagine making non-funny TikToks. Ugh. Can't Ugh. relate. Sorry, can't relate. My TikToks have been golden the last few days. Golden. They yeah. have been. And it's just because you and Shaylee know me, so you're like, this isn't funny because you see me <laughs> every day. But people on the internet are like, this is funny because they don't know me. Again, seeking validation from people that don't know me and they understand my humor because you two are just wired to it and you just don't laugh at me anymore unless I'm talking to your Alexa, which apparently... <laughs> <laughs> Makes his fucking wheeze. For some reason, everybody, <laughs> Shaley and Ryan's Alexa does not understand me. I'm talking oh, to it man. and it just doesn't listen to me. And I'm like, I'm speaking clearly. I don't understand what you don't know about me, Alexa. She hates you. She does not like me and I'm I'm not here for it. But all I'm trying to do is play some freaking music and she just wants to put on 70s bangers. And I'm like, excuse me, I'm not asking for that. I mean, I'm not terrible. Uh, no, 70s isn't really my thing, but... Um, yeah, that's the only time Shaylee and Ryan laugh at me because they just know me. So they don't find it funny. It's when things don't go your way that makes it funny. Not like horribly, but. Oh my God, that's kind of sick. Like you want to see me suffer? (laughs) I do actually a little bit. I've dealt you for so long. I'm fat. I'm (laughs) dumb. (laughs) See, again, suffering makes him laugh, but. Yeah. Hey everyone, I don't know. Ryan can't plug his TikTok, so I'll plug mine. Of course, yeah. follow me on TikTok. Well, that's not up yet. But, I mean, follow me on Twitter, because all I post on Twitter now is TikToks also. And I guess what? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Interior Crocodile Alligator. That song is a lit song from TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lit song from TikTok. Uh, anyway. One, oh, hang on real <laughs> quick. The one TikTok I see is the one that goes, And it's that, like, yeah, it's the one that dance one. that I can slay because it's the only dance that's <laughs> easy enough for me to slay. I don't do TikTok dances because I'm not about that. I'm more about the Vine energy of TikTok. Um, but like, I, that's the one dance I think anybody could do. I mean, any I think oh yeah, you know, anybody could do that moves. dance. It's the absolute worst dance. It's like the the sh- stupidest crap. But hey, I'll I'll be here for it. One day I'll do a TikTok dance and everyone will be like, wow. <laughs> That's another TikTok. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe I just successfully did that. Oh my god. That's a perfect way to end that. Everybody, I hope you enjoy everything um going on in your life. I don't know why I said that. That's a weird sentence, but I hope you're enjoying your life. Yeah. Hope you enjoy yeah. your life. Until enjoy next it. Thursday. Goodbye, everybody. Uh, <laughs>